Welcome to The Spine Guy. I'm Dr. Brian Sue, a fellowship trained spine surgeon in Marin, California. The Spine Guy is a channel dedicated to making the complex spine simple for patients to understand. On the last episode, we talked about non-surgical treatments for cervical radiculopathy or a pinched nerve in the neck. Today, we'll be talking about surgical treatments for a pinched nerve in the neck. I'll be posting new videos weekly, so hit the subscribe button to catch them as they come out. Let me just remind you of what a pinched nerve in the neck typically comes from. This is the cervical spine. This is the front of the neck. This is the back of the neck. And a pinched nerve in the neck usually comes from either a bone spur or a disc herniation that comes from the front of the neck and pushes on the nerve. So as a, re as a review from the last video, this is the nerve, this yellow thing. What can happen is a disc can herniate, meaning the donut and the jelly donut layer tears and the jelly spits out and it hits the nerve. Or what can happen is there's a bone spur that grows as a result of arthritis and that bone spur ends up hitting the nerve. Nonetheless, it's almost always a bone spur or disc herniation coming from the front of the spine to the back of the spine hitting the nerve. We have three ways of treating a pinched nerve in the neck surgically. All of them involve taking the pressure off of the nerve. The first option for treatment is taking pressure off of the nerve from the back of the neck called a posterior foramenotomy. So here you are, posterior means from the back portion of the neck and foramenotomy means opening up the foramen to make space for the nerve. A posterior foramenotomy essentially involves taking an instrument and then removing a portion of the bone spur here to make room for the nerve. The next two options are both anterior. Anterior means from the front of the neck. Again, because the bone spur or disc herniation is coming from the front to the back of the neck, sometimes it's easier to go from the front. And there are two options when you go from the front of the neck. One is called an ACDF, otherwise known as an anterior cervical discectomy and fusion. Anterior means from the front, Cervical means neck. Discectomy means taking the entire disc out. And when we do that, we take the pressure off the nerve. And fusion. Fusion means attaching two bones to each other, making them one bone. So what happens is we take the disc out and we bone graft and we use plate and we use screws to ultimately turn those two bones into one bone. The other option is also from the front and it's called a cervical disc replacement. Cervical means neck. Disc is the disc, and replacement means replacing with the same thing that resembles the original disc. So this is trying to recreate the native disc as best as possible. This is also called a CDA or cervical disc arthroplasty, um, but most commonly called a cervical disc replacement. So just to remind you guys again, here's a good view. This is uh, called the foramen oblique, which is a side view looking into the neck. So this is the back of the neck. There's a front of the neck. These are the bones. These are the discs, these dark things. This happens to be the C67 foramen. And here there's a normal cross section of the nerve as the nerve's coming out at you with plenty of room. So here you can see that there's a combination actually of a disc herniation plus a bone spur creating a narrowing of this space. A posterior foramenotomy coming from the back removes a portion of this bone to create room for the nerve, whereas an anterior cervical discectomy fusion comes from the front, takes the entire disc out, takes the offending agent off of the nerve, and then puts a bone graft with a plate and screws for a fusion, while cervical disc replacement, or CDR, removes the entire disc, takes the bone spur off. Identical procedure as a cervical disc replacement, but instead of putting bone graft and a plate and screws for a fusion, we replace it with something that resembles a disc, i.e. an artificial disc replacement. All of these different procedures, the posterior frame anatomy, the ACDF, the cervical disc replacement, all deserve their own separate videos. So on each subsequent video, I'll be reviewing the posterior frame anatomy. I'll do a separate video on the anterior cervical decompression fusion and a separate video on cervical disc replacement to talk through the specific risks, the benefits, and contraindications of each procedure. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the like button and leave questions or feedback in the comment box below. Feel free to let me know what videos you would like to see in the future.